Uh, my name is Peace Annie Musigwe. I'm a filmmaker, um, a lawyer, yeah, a writer, but I'm the founder of the African Movie Academy Awards. Well, I'd like you to keep watching The Cable Lifestyle. Um, you know, one of the things is that we have a lot of filmmakers in Africa and even in the diaspora, but they were never really like um, recognized. So that was one of the main reasons we decided to start something that celebrates the best of African cinema, where we could congregate, um, network, talk about our achievements, and really just have fun as um, black filmmakers from across the world. So it became really important for us to have something that we could call our own. And I think that's the main reason why we put together the African Movie Academy Awards. It was something to fill a vacuum in the um, film space for African cinema. I think one of the main things about the AMAs is the jury system. You know, it's not a, it's not a people's choice, it's not a popular vote. Um, it's an academy of jurors. So they are people that, most of them have been um, curators of African cinema for film festivals across the world for an average of 30 years. Someone like Dorothy Wena has been curating African cinema at the Berlinale since 1990, I think, yes. And then you have um, Kitshiri, Jun Giovanni, Ayuko Babu, and Asantua, who, do, who will be celebrating 30 years of the Pan-African Film Festival next year, one of the oldest film festivals for filmmakers in the United States of America. They've been part of the AMA journey. Then you have Kitsch, um, Steve Ayurande, um, who is a critic and film writer for many years. I actually got to know Steve in the festival circuit even before I relocated to Nigeria. Then Shiabu Husseini, who started his journey with us, um, John Akonfro, Charles Bonnet, you know, it's all about people who really believe and understand what African films are about. And that, I think, has sustained the, the quality of what makes you a winner at AMA. You know, it's, it's very difficult. A lot of times people say, oh, our criteria are difficult, but we celebrate professionalism of the arts and not of um, popularity of the um, filmmakers. It's actually more about the technical sides of the film um, making process, etc. So those are the things that we try to do. There are reasons why we do that. Um, Africa has to tell its own stories and its own, in its own words, but at the same time, our stories need to travel so that people begin to appreciate what we are about. It cannot be that we make films for just our own audiences all the time. Um, what we'd like to celebrate in AMA is that most of the films that win at AMA actually travel across the world and are watched by many people. So that makes it effectively challenge our filmmakers to do more so that people get to know the real Africa, not where we demonize everything African, you know, we celebrate the best. Um, you know, when people say the international awards, most awards systems that are professional are jury-based. Uh, they're not voter-based. It's, uh, that is an anomaly. So you get, yeah, a popular film is not necessarily going to win at the AMAs. That is for real. Um, you know, it doesn't mean, you can be a popular film and you can still win at the AMA, but you must have the technicals. But there are lots of things that go into judging a film. And I'll use an example. I think it's um, the 2012 AMA Awards. I'm not a member of the jury, but I had actually been having jury service a lot during that year at many different festivals. So I'd seen most of the films 
And I'd actually thought a particular film was going to win. That year we had actually two films that were very similar, Get a Life, which was a Jamaican film, and Othello Burning, and there was How to Steal Two Million. So um, I was in the audience and I was expecting Othello Burning to be announced as the best film. And no, it wasn't. It's not that, I just thought it would be, you know, because in, in the other um, film festival that I had served, it actually won, you know. And I was like, okay, yeah, it's gonna, nah. And when I asked the jury afterwards, I was getting all kinds of explanations about the film. Um, there was issues with the screenplay um, in certain areas of research about Africans, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it made you understand what they think about in how they judge films. It's not just what we know, but they also want to judge films based on research and whether you've done your due diligence on the film itself. And because they've spent a lot of time creating African cinema, they probably have seen it all. Two thousand and five, yes. The funding to host these events is consuming, do you understand? Because the cost of putting together any event like AMA is like you have all the people coming in. You have to bring in your nominees, you have to pay their accommodation, you have to feed them. You know, there's a whole load of costs that go into hosting any event in Nigeria. Oh, we, AMA has always been lucky to have some form of sponsorship or partnership. We started with um, partnership with Bielsa State. Um, then we had UBA and we've had other partners. So we will continue to ask governments to invest in the creative industries and work with them. It's not just about giving money, it's about integrating themselves to the value chain that the creative industry brings, you know. Um, no government should see it like if they're dashing money to the creative industry. No, you're investing in order to reap. The more you invest, the more you gain. Um, the bigger the events, the more people that come. So if you look at the festivals internationally, be it Cannes, be it Berlin, just the number of people flying in. if there's added ingredients. I think the most um, beautiful thing for us this year in AMA is the kind of entries we got, especially from Arab Africa. You know, this year they came in and they came in hot. So they have quite a few films in contention. And um, I think there's a lot more interest in the African award system, there's a, a networking, a, a, a renaissance of everybody wanting to come together. And Africa is the new, um, well I say Africa is the new darling of the international film industry, so everybody's keeping an eye out for what's happening in Africa. And especially um, also Nigeria is one of the highest content producers of the world. Well, you know, we've been in Lagos now for the past, I think, three years, yeah. And it, one of it is the accessibility, security. Um, and funny enough, a lot of people just want to come to Lagos at the moment internationally. It's like a cool for show, really. And they hear a lot about Lagos, you know. Um, when you talk about our music, people tend to look at it as Lagos. Um, when you talk about food, they think about Lagos. So it, there's kind of been a Lagos branding um, that has gone on indirectly. Indirectly, you know. And I would hope that the Lagos state government can also understand the potential that they have there.
Well, I'm hoping that the nominees will have fun in Lagos and that I am looking forward to finding out who the winners of this year will be. Um, technically, I hope to see everybody at the African Movie Academy Awards 17th edition on the 28th of November at the Marriott.